Hi guys, it's Lizbeth from Lizbeth Books, and today I'm here to do my August wrap-up. So I read 25 books in August. Six of them were manga, but the rest were all books. So I'm just gonna jump right into like what I thought about them. And yeah, so the first book I read in August was Just One Day by Gail Foreman. I loved this book. I loved her If I Stay, like duology. I thought they were amazing. I loved where she went, and so I wanted to read more Gail Foreman. And I picked this one up, and I absolutely loved it. Like, I couldn't put it down. I just read right through it, and I really need to pick up her, like, next one, Just One Year. Yeah, I really want to read Just One Year. So next, I read Hopeless by Colleen Hoover. I loved this book as well. I had never read Hopeless before, or I never read anything by Colleen Hoover. And everybody on, like, Tumblr, book Tumblr, like, talks about her, and people on BookTube talk about her. And I was at Powell's Bookstore in um, Portland, Oregon uh, in July, and I picked this one up, and I was like, oh, I'll just read it on our long car trip, and it was really good. I read it in about three hours in the car trip, and the sun was going down, and it was hard to read, and I had my cell phone, and I was trying to finish it. I loved it, and I can't wait to read all of Colleen Hoover's work. I've picked up, like, two other one, two other books by her, and they were both, like, amazing, but we'll get back into that. So yeah, I read Hopeless. Then I read The Divide by Elizabeth Kay. I love these books, guys. I read these probably when I was 12, the series, and I just love, like, they open like this, and then I kind of, like, fold it over to read it. And they have, you know, it's like a middle grade fantasy series. They're really cute. I love this book. Like, and my friends actually picked up the second and third one for me, so I have to get to those, but you know, I have 50 books in this pile over here to get to, but yeah, it was really good. Then I read, um, To All the Boys I've Loved Before by Jenny Han. I didn't like this book, guys. Like, I, I kind of hated it. Like, I love contemporary, I love romance. Those are my favorite, and I just could not get into this book. I did not like it. I didn't like the main character, I did not like her sisters, I did not like any of her bo the boys like she was supposed to love, I just, I didn't like the writing, I just didn't like it. I just don't really like Jenny Han. I read her The Summer I Turned Pretty series, I was not impressed with that, I read that like four years ago, and yeah, like, I try to be impressed, but I, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna like donate this for use trade credit because I never want to read it again, and I don't think I'm gonna continue on with like her next one. Unless it was like absolutely amazing or something, because yeah, I just, I did not like this one. Next I read, um, Destroy Me, the Shatter Me novella, like that goes between Shatter Me and Unravel Me. And I don't have it to show you because I borrowed it from my friend. But I really, really liked it. I loved, I loved Warner in Shatter Me. And so like reading all about Warner in, um, the like novella of Destroy Me, right? Yeah, Destroy Me. It was really good, and I just love knowing more about Warner. I love that Warner loved Juliet, and yeah, I just love Warner, like Team Warner. I mean, I have nothing against Adam yet because I haven't finished the series, but I just feel like, and I don't really know any spoilers, so it's all good, and I can't fix this, but um, yeah, like, there's nothing against Adam right now that I know of, but I just like liked Warner's personality better. I felt like Warner loves Juliet more than Adam does, and so yeah, I like him more as a character. Okay, next I read Four, a Divergent Collection by Veronica Roth. I really liked it, but I felt like it was an unnecessary book. I, it was basically Divergent. Like, I mean, that's what it is. It's like Divergent and Four's point of view, but I don't understand why it had to be like its own 200 page book. It really did not give me any information I didn't kind of know about for. Like yeah, it did give more insight about him, but like I felt like you could, you knew all of it from Divergent and the whole series. Like I felt like this was unnecessary, like I don't know how it became a book. Like I did enjoy it, yes, like I did enjoy it, but yeah, I just, I don't know why it got published as a book. Like I just feel like it could have been like a little insert and like the end of the series in her book and it would have worked out, but I bought it, so you know, that's the whole point, like, she got money from me, but, yeah, I'll read it again, but, again, like, I just felt like it was unnecessary to publish it as its own, like, book. 
Okay, next I read Ugly Love by Colleen Hoover, and I don't have it to show you because I lent it to my friend, but I loved it. Like, it was, it was kind of like, you know, adult. Um, there was a lot of sex scenes, not that, like, that matters, but I loved it. Like, I thought it was cheesy, but, like, still cute, and I just wanted to know, like, what would happen with the relationship, uh, the relationship with, I can't remember the boy's name, but it was really, really sad. Like, it was just such a sad, and then... I was just like that happy ending and so it was all good and I just love Colleen Hoover like I am falling in love with her writing so I yeah I just again I can't wait to read more of her books okay so after that one I read Landline by Rainbow Rowell this is a like advanced reader copy of it as you can say it says free all over it but I enjoyed it I it's probably the worst book out of hers I think like out of her books, I probably like Fangirl the most or um, Eleanor and Park, but this one was still good. It was a solid read. Like, I enjoyed it, but uh, again, I don't, it just didn't like strike my fancy too much. I wasn't really into the characters too much. I kind of just read it to like finish it, not because like I was intrigued into the story or anything, but yeah, I, I still want to read more Rainbow Rowell's work. I think overall she's like really good. So yeah, like, it was good, but it wasn't amazing or anything, but I would read it again. Like, I would keep it and read it again. So after that one, I read The Evolution of Mara Dyer by Michelle Hodkin, and this is the second book in the, like, Mara Dyer trilogy. I didn't like this book, guys. Like, I loved the first book. It got me hooked. I thought it was crazy. I was like, what is going on in this book? Like, it was insane. And then this one... It barely, like, held my interest. I didn't really want to read it. I forced myself to, like, get through it. And, yeah, like, I just did not want to read this book. But I tried, <laughs> I tried really hard, and it took a few days, like, putting it down, reading other things in between. And I finally finished it. And, like, I do want to see what happens at the end. I just, the cliffhanger did not surprise me. There's a third book, like, I just... It just was not my cup of tea, but I still think I want to know what happens, so I will buy the third book, but I'm not like, oh my god, racing out to go buy it or anything. I'll eventually, like, get it. But yeah, next I read Isla and the Happily Ever After by Stephanie Perkins. So cute, guys. I loved it. I just love Stephanie Perkins' books. My favorite is probably Lola and the Boy Next Door. I just absolutely loved that one. And I would say this was the worst one out of her three books, but it was not a bad book. I just feel like she didn't, like, describe the characters as well as the other ones. It was, I felt like it was kind of too short. Like, she could have gone into more details about, like, her friend and about Josh and even Isla. Like, I didn't really know much about her. She was just kind of, like, cute and, like, you know. It was like, I wish there was a hundred more pages with more details about things. But, like, overall, it was a really good book. I liked reading it. But I wouldn't say, like, if I could pick the other two, I would read the other two again over this one. But it's still really cute. Next I read Why We Broke Up by Daniel Handler. And the art is by Mar Maria Kalman. And it was okay. Like, I got it for like five bucks. So I was like, oh, I'll pick it up. Because my friend told me it wasn't that great of a book. And I agree, like, it wasn't too, it wasn't the most amazing story but I did like the pictures in there, it broke it up, and I did think it was like a cute why they broke up story, but at the same time, like I just, I didn't really enjoy it. I don't know, I gave it like a three stars, you know, like I liked it, but I don't think I'd ever really read it again, so I'm probably going to donate this one so someone else can read it, but it's really nice, it's really heavy, and I didn't realize Daniel Hadler is Lemony Snicket, like, I did not know that. So when I was reading the back, he's like, oh, and why am I going to snick it? I'm like, what? So that was my cool fact of the day. I feel like I, I don't know, lost in like the book blogging thing. I'm like, why don't I know these things? But yeah. But anyway, next I read Unravel Me by Tahara Mafi. And I thought it was really good. Like, I just love the cover. It's like Alaska and snow. And I'm from Alaska, so yeah, I love it. But, um, it was okay. Like, I want to know what happens next. Like, so I'm going to read the third one. But, I mean, it's not my favorite series or anything. Like, I did like a lot of the, like, words. I just felt like a lot of things were 
cliche and I didn't care about it and it just seemed kind of rushed but I do want to know what happens next and I love the covers and they're just really pretty and yeah so I mean I'm going to continue with the series and I don't like not dis I don't dislike it or anything it's just like not my favorite cup of tea or anything and then I read um postcard love finds you in North Pole Alaska by Lori Lowe and I'm from Alaska so my aunt actually picked this up for me and I thought it was actually really cute like it was really cheesy and cute um it's like a Christian romance so there was a lot of reference to like God and how God did things which you know I am not really religious so I felt it was kind of like repetitive but I did not like not dislike it or anything and um, I really liked it because it actually described North Pole a lot and like Alaska and like the Northern Lights and it was a pretty good represent like repert represent represent Blah 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 words I don't even know. Okay, let's ignore me. But yeah, like representation. Represent I can't say words. You know what I mean. You know what word I mean. But it like showed off Alaska in a good way, I thought. But I don't know if I'd like read it again. It was pretty like cheesy and the ending was really like I don't know, like so made up and fake, but overall it was like a cute three out of five you know, read. Okay, next I read Fracture Me, which is like the novella between Unravel Me and Ignite Me in the Shatter Me series. And that one was okay. I mean, it was just about Adam. I didn't feel like it really added anything to the story. I don't know. I didn't like how his brother called him Addy. I thought it was super annoying. But I mean, I guess it was supposed to be cute. But I was just like, oh my god, like this book. And I was so glad it was like really short because I don't know, it just didn't give anything to the story, and so I just need to read the third one now to see how it ends to, you know, continue with it. But yeah, after that I read Lone Wolf by Jodi Picoult. I... I did not like this book. I tried really... I love Jodi Picoult. I've read almost every one of her books. I'm pretty sure I only have, like, one in my to-be-read that's out of all her books I haven't read yet. So I got to this one, and... It's like I didn't care about any of the characters. I didn't care about the dad even though he was like he was in a coma and I just didn't care about him which is really bad. I didn't care about his siblings or his children. I didn't care about the wolves. I didn't care about the ex-wife. I didn't it's just I didn't nobody clicked for me. I didn't like anybody. So none of the stories like I was like reading it just to read it and I was just like when will this end? When will this end? And living in Alaska I just there's did you ever hear about, like, the guy who thought he was a bear, and he, like, lived with the bears, and then he got eaten? And it was really sad. Like, people are not wild animals. So this whole book about how, like, he thought he was a wolf, and he lived with the wolves, I was just like, this isn't gonna end good. Like, I don't care. And I just, I just didn't like it. I tried really hard, but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna go, like, turn this in for trade credit again, and read a different Jodi Picoult book. Like, she has some really good books, but I... I mean, if you like woods and, like, wolves and wilderness and stuff, I'm sure you'd like that one. But I just didn't like the courtroom of it. I didn't like the, like, crime part of it. It, was just, it wasn't my Jodi Picoult book. After that, I read Between Here and Forever by Elizabeth Scott. And I need to give up on Elizabeth Scott. I've read three of her books, three or four of her books. I have not liked any of them. Like, I don't feel like she is a good author. I don't know how these books get published, like, the main character in this was so negative. Every page she was like, I'm disgusting, I'm ugly, no one loves me, even though people obviously loved her, and I mean, yes, there's some people they just can't see through it, but every page of this book, it's not even that long a book, and it took me all month to read, because I would start it, I would read like 10 pages, I was like, I can't read this, it's so negative, and it just... And then the last, like, 50 pages were pretty good. Like, the story picked up, it got pretty good, but, like, overall I just could not get over that the rest of the book was so bad to even, like, enjoy the last 50 pages. And I just couldn't wait for it to be done. And, yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm never going to read any of her other books. Like, I've tried, and they're always at my used bookstore, and now I know why, because no one wants them. <laughs> but I gave her a chance, and I just, I just can't read her books anymore. I just don't like them. 
Next I read Between Mom and Joe by Julianne Peters, and I love Julianne Peters. Like, every single book I've read by her has been like a, you know, 5 out of 5. I love her so much. This was a great book. It was really short, and it just made me so sad. Like, ugh. It, the, the family just went through so much. It's like a boy and his two moms, and one is, he calls mom, and one's Joe. And, like, it's just how he grew up with two moms and how what he went through and what his moms faced. And just all the, like, you know, ups and downs of relationships and what goes on in life. And it was really good. Like, I really enjoyed it. And I, I don't know, I just want to read more of her books. I know she has a new book coming out soon, or it might be out. I can't remember what it's called, but I really want to read it because I love her. And I also, I checked this out at the library because... I went to the library about two weeks ago and got about ten books, so that was my first library book I read. And then I read six books of a manga series. It's the Chibi Vampire series, and I'm not sure how many there are, but I had six of them from my local bookstore, or my, like, local used bookstore. And so I read the first six, like, in a day, and they were cute. It's a cute story. Like, I liked the concept. I don't think I'm going to go out and buy the rest of the series like right now but I feel like if I found them at my bookstore I would pick it up and like read it there but I don't think I'd purchase it because I don't think I'm going to keep these I'm probably going to go sell these back to my bookstore but it was really cute like I did not think it was a bad manga it's just I'm not that I haven't found a manga that's like hooked me in a while and I did not really like it enough to want to purchase and keep it on my shelves but I still recommend it for a cute like light read and yeah like I need to I it left a kind of on a cliffhanger at six so I do want to see what happens next and I want to see what happens overall but I'm not gonna go out and buy them like full price to see I'll probably rent them from my library or or borrow them from my library if they have it or you know just read it in my bookstore really fast because they only take about like 15 minutes to read a manga but yeah so after those six I read Something Maybe by Colleen Hoover. Again, loved it. Like, it was so good. Oh, I just loved it. It's so sad. I loved the, like, the concept of it. I loved all the music. There's so many songs in it. I just wanted to, like, you know, in my head I made up, like, how the music went and the songs. And I don't know if I liked it more than, I don't know if I liked it more than, um, like, Hopeless and Ugly Love, but I liked it just as, like, I love Colleen Hoover, I, I swear. Like, I know I've said that so many times in this video, but I can't wait to read more of her books. Like, yeah, I need to pick up the rest of them. And she just writes, uh, they're just so good, and, uh, yeah, I would totally reread this and recommend this one. And finally, the last book I read in August was Cruel Beauty by Rosamund Hodge. I absolutely loved this story. I've heard really mixed reviews, like either people like hated it or they loved it. I was so hooked in this book. I loved it so much until about page 200 and then it just got, it got overly like happy. I don't know, like it just seemed like all the problems just clicked t way too fast. Like in a page everything was fine. And I was like no, the whole book was like so good because of like the struggle and so about page 200 to 300 I wasn't into it as much but I read this all in one sitting and I like so I wanted to know what happened next and then 300 to the end I got right back sucked into it so I think I did give it like 4 out of 5 and I would have gave it 5 out of 5 if like those 100 pages had been perfect but yeah I really liked it and this was another book I checked out at the library but yeah, I would recommend it. Like, it reminded me of Beauty and the Beast mixed with, like, I don't know, like, Percy Jackson just because of, like, the mythology, and I know that's, like, not the same at all, but it was close, and then, I don't know, it was just, like, fairy tale, like, mystery, ugh, and, like, I did not guess really any, like, I kind of guessed what would happen because there's kind of a love triangle, but... No, I didn't guess it as, like, crazily as crazy as it went. And, yeah, I just really enjoyed it. But, yeah, guys, that's everything I read in uh, August. And 
I hope to do at least 25, you know, probably less than September. I don't think I really, like, it's September 2nd right now, and I haven't, I've started, like, a book, but I haven't, like, finished a book yet in September, but I'm hoping that I can read more in September and show you guys. But yeah, I'll see you next time in my next video, and I hope you guys have a great day, and uh, tell me what you read in August. Hey, bye, guys.